All right, today I'm going to show you. So I made a video on how to change these icons, and a guy posted, uh, um, you know, how did I actually get the drives to map? And if you're watching this video, I'll include a link at the end of this video to to the one that I'm referring to about customizing the drive icons. Um, so as you, as you can see here, I have the network locations to my Google Drive and my Amazon um, S3. AWS S3 uh, cloud. Um, so there's multiple ways of achieving um, this. I'm going to go through uh, each of the ways. So if you already have Google Drive, okay. So here's a disclaimer before you continue watching on. Uh, the first method is a free method, um, and the second two methods you you gotta buy like a software for it. But um, the software both are. Um, forty nine dollars. I don't make any money off it. I have no affiliation. There is just good software, so I, I'm gonna recommend it. Um, but uh, um, you know, stay tuned for the free uh way of doing this. So the free way of doing this is um well um the the current implementation that I have it, this is a network uh drive setup, and when I like go in here and I add stuff. Uh, like like that's it. it, it it's it's automatically like th there's no um like downloading everything to my computer and then syncing the whole repository. It, it's that that's you know kind of gets a little bit crazy sometimes. Um, if especially if you're like on your laptop with a mobile hotspot and they're charging you you know ten dollars for every two gigabytes. Uh, so so that gets a little bit nuts. Um, so the the method I have is it it connects directly um to uh, my my um cloud uh i guess drives or um uh, uh repositories if you will so um the first way i'm going to uh show you is if you already have like the google drive installed and you just want to make that like assign that a drive letter uh i'll show you how to, how to do that and that's free so um you, what you want to do is download a software called um visual subs t i assume that stands for visual substitute but i could be wrong um so you can download it for free at uh, at netwind.com or ntwind.com uh, or you can just probably google um visual subs t and you can download for free and basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to map folders um to uh or you you know assign folders like drive like virtual drive letters um and after you do that then um you're you should be good to go um and you can actually do that if you have like your you know one drive uh which i i have run one drive as well i have google drive and amazon so um with the amazon s3 you you, you can't really like do like do the same because because it doesn't really exactly work the same as like Google Drive, OneDrive and like Dropbox. But if you have all, like any of the other ones, you can like totally like do that and assign those drive letters. Now, if you don't want um to it to like sync up to your computer, um like so so for, for example for me I have like um I, I have um you know everything on my on my Google Drive is already synced to uh, multiple com computers so I don't need it to sync again to my laptop um, especially since I'm running through mobile bandwidth um, through one of those dedicated uh, you know wireless internet hotspots um, so the method that I, that I uh, use is um, so there's two pieces of software if you're it, if you are willing to fork out the forty nine dollars I mean once I explain it I mean if you um, are not a student if you actually have like a paying job I, I think it, it's totally worth it like you should get it um, but uh, again I don't get paid for uh, for this so there's two main companies and I'll explain the the, the difference between the two there's NetDrive their website looks like it, it, it could be better um, there's expand drive um, it, their website looks a, p a little bit bland but they want you to just download immediately so um, so both of these programs, it's it's the same price, pretty much the functionality is the same. But what I've noticed, I, I uninst I've uninstalled NetDrive, um, and um, and, and now I'm I'm running Expand Drive, and the reason is because uh, it seems on like NetDrive, um, it it, it, it it tries to to, uh, it's not as reliable. Um, from what I, and also from uh, what I was reading, um, because I used it for like 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 a, a, a few hours doing 
um, transfer a bunch of like PSDs and stuff like that. Um, and um, yeah, and, and uh, expand drive it, um, from my usage of it, it seems more reliable and robust. Um, and when I uh, Google the uh, comparisons, um, people were saying that it's uh, because expand drive has more uh, layers of cache of caching, so uh, you're able to access files of, uh, quicker, um, and also it creates a, a higher level of, of uh, I guess, you know, uh, reliability. So. Uh, that said, I'm just going to show you, um, since I've uninstalled uh, NetDrive already, uh, I have um, Expand Drive here. Uh, um, so basically, uh, this is kind of how it works. I'm going to just eject these. And once I've ejected them, as you can see, it's just my C drive, my D drive, solid, solid state drive, HDD, um, SD. Uh, and I'm going to now um, enable these and, you, and and basically you can set it so that way once your computer turns on you automatically like mount these um, so once that's mounted here you go um, it, it's pretty pretty straightforward and it doesn't auto assign the letter uh, or the drive letters which is nice um, uh, so you can kind of like permanently map like an icon to that specific drive so I got the S for the S3 and G for uh, Google Drive um, and let me show you all the different integrations so it supports the Amazon Cloud Drive um, you, you know uh, Dropbox the Google Cloud Storage Box.com OneDrive um, you can even like uh, if you have a, a Linux server you can even like add a um, uh, SSH via FTP connection or just an FTP connection, you can mount that. Uh, Amazon S3, as, as uh, you can see here. Um, I guess some of these, which I'm not as familiar with, um, and WebDAV. So, yeah, it, it's pretty much, uh, I mean, covers for the most part, I think, you know, all, all of the popular ones. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's very robust. It's it's very reliable. I mean, after you install it, uh, right now, um, this uh, my version is gonna expire in, in I think like like a day or two. Uh, let, let's see. So uh, to access the pricing page, uh, that's one of the things that uh, on Expand Drive is is actually not wasn't as straightforward. Oh, maybe it, it was as straightforward. Okay, cool. Store. Um, so here's the pricing page. Um, it'll be easier if they just call it the pricing actually. Uh, but um. Yeah, it it's pretty pretty affordable. Um, I, I would say, uh, if if you you work if you're working like a, you know, if you have a job or if you have your own business, it's pretty affordable. If you're a student, it might be a little bit uh, steep. Um, so uh, again, this one's the the same thing. Um, so you know, I, I would between the two, I would recommend Expand Drive. Uh, so hopefully this this video helps explain um different ways of mounting your Google Drive or you know whatever um, your know, cloud uh, network drive or cloud drive as a network drive to your computer hopefully you found this helpful and if you have like this video subscribe to my youtube channel um, and I'll um, try to create more of these you know tutorials that help you do cool stuff and help you fix things and stuff in in, in windows and uh, if you have any um, alternative methods you know, even free ones especially feel free to post in the comments below I'm sure it'll help out um, you know uh, I'm sure it'll help people out um, the fact that, that they don't have to fork out money for something um, other than that um, thank you for watching and uh, thank you for subscribing